Hello, I'm Jake Steele from Vanguard TV. Here at Lebanon Trail, we have many different teachers who teach a variety of subjects. Let's go to Julie Lyon with the teacher feature of Mrs. Law. My name is Valerie Law, and I teach, I currently teach pre AP English 1 and GT Humanities. And my undergraduate degree is from the University of California, Berkeley, and I have an English degree from there. And then I have a master's degree in education from the University of Southern California. Oh, outside of school, I'm very invested in my own kids' lives. Um, so from anywhere from Girl Scouts to swimming to whatever they're involved in. I'm also an avid reader and I like traveling. In my classes, <clears throat> well for my students, I always maintain high expectations for them, but I also make sure that they um, understand that I believe that they can meet those expectations. Um, I also am available for them so that when they need um, any type of assistance they know that they can come to me for them. I love Ms. Law because she's generally a cheery and positive person and always makes me want to smile every single morning. So. Ms. Law sees me as a person and less as a student and she cares about who I am instead of how I work in her class and I can talk to her about absolutely anything and she's always been there when I've needed anyone at the school. I trust her more than half of the gremlins that are in my grade. Uh, I, I honestly just enjoy um, watching students grow and um, you know kind of providing that high school experience that I didn't necessarily have. Thank you Miss Law. Thank you Miss Law. I love you so much. <laughs> With the wrapping up of basketball, new spring sports like baseball, softball, and track are able to shine in the spotlight. Here's Jim Anna with the sports coverage. In order to graduate high school, students must complete at least one technology credit. A popular course to take is 3D modeling and animation. Here's Zach Bernius with the scoop. 3D modeling and animation is a class that any grade level can take to earn their fine art and tech credit. They finish up their art director project, which is a project where 3D modeling and animation receive directions from Animation 1, the upper level class. My 3D modeling students are doing well. Uh, we've worked on several projects um, up to this point that are supposed to help them gear up for this project and um, help them prepare for every tool that they need to use for this. Um, they've also been provided several resources um, that will help them along the way so that they can work with their art director and um, do the best that they can, but also get some direction and guidance um, from their director along the way. With the mentor project, our students at the Kate Center act as a mentor and director for students that are in 3D modeling and animation. And what that means is they can actually go in and write the directions for them and kind of give them the creative direction, but then they still have the creative vision of, you know, creating their 3D animation. They can animate that however they want to, as long as they're kind of following their general directions. And so that gives them the opportunity to do this over the forums. We do this um, just all over the internet and all by written communication. And so they 
in, in a sense, are just the directors for what they're doing. And we just direct them and, and tell them kind of how to help their animation or help their storyboarding um, and just help them through the project and uh, get to the end. With Ms. Carlucci teaching our students the knowledge they need in order to complete the project. I think that the students will do a good job um, understanding and kind of interpreting their art directors. I just tell them to um, do their best based on uh, their descriptions and if they have any questions regarding um, the scene or um, any of the animations that they're asking them to create to, to work with them and to comment and um, to stay in tune with their art director so that they can do their job to direct them and they can create something really great. They are moving on to other projects in order to prepare themselves for animation one. This was Zach Brangus from the Vanguard TV. Don't forget, Blazers, there's still time to change your schedule. Let's take a look at photojournalism. Uh, photojournalism is a great class. Uh, we have a lot of fun, and you get an opportunity to learn about photographic composition, uh, how to best arrange a photograph. Um, I'll teach you everything you want to know about how to use a digital camera, how to hold it the right way, um, how to compose your shots, and you'll get to have experience with photographing um, sports and animals and portraits. And we do all kinds of other creative projects throughout the year, both in inside and out of class. Um, so it's a great hands-on uh, class. It's a, also a good way for you to get your technology credit or to just get an elective credit. Uh, photojournalism is also a prerequisite for yearbook and we'd love to see you on yearbook staff. DECA is an organization that allows students to be prepared for the career field after college. It is future focused on leadership and entrepreneurship in marketing, financing, hospitality, and management. An annual competition is held in order for students to pitch their business solutions to professionals in the workforce that they desire to compete in. Teams who competed in DECA include Samuel Mang with Austin Ma, Abaraj Nettie with Natish Harpavat, and Sai Vadi with Kirthi Reddy. State winners that advance at the International Career Development Conference are Ashita Mutyala, Emilio Rocco, Ritvik Kakumani, Ria Singla, and Surya Sinthokumar. Congratulations to DECA on their successes this year. During second period on Thursday and Friday of last week, your teachers asked for you to take the survey on lunches for the Star EOC English 1 and Star EOC English 2 tests on April 10th and April 12th. Every student is required to take this survey to let us know what you are going to have for lunch on these testing days. You will only take the survey for the test you are required to take. If you are taking both English 1 and English 2, you will need to fill out both surveys. For example, if you are a 9th grader, you will need to take the English 1 survey. If you are a 10th grader, you will need to take the English 2 survey. Here are the two different QR codes for both surveys. This is due today. If you have any questions, please see the front office staff. Thanks for watching. If you have any more story or segment ideas, please visit our newly redesigned website, lthsvanguard.com. I'm Jake Steele from Vanguard TV. Have a great day, Blazers.